my name is Megan. I'm the founder of Hear Their Raw and a parenting consultant with Think MVR. Today I want to look at nagging and lecturing, of which I have a PhD in, and I'm very proud of the fact that I can nag and I can lecture, ask any of my fosterlings for hours, in fact days. Um, and I want to think about that because so many times parents, teachers, me, <laughs> just sit there and think, why? It's not getting through. They're not listening. No, of course they're not. It's white noise. Let's face facts about nagging and lecturing to try and help us so we don't fall into the trap of them again. It is white noise and we know it. Why do we nag? Why do we lecture? Do we genuinely think it's going to change anything? Do we genuinely think this is the way to get ourselves heard? No, we don't. We know it's white noise because we don't listen when we're nagged or lectured. What nagging is and what lecturing is, is us allowing ourselves to vent out and release it from ourselves. <laughs> That's the truth. But then what happens is we get frustrated because we're like, oh, I'm so overwhelmed. I'm so exhausted because all I'm doing is nagging and lecturing all the time. No, we're nagging and lecturing all the time because it makes us feel like we've got it off our own chests. We're creating an issue for ourselves. So I want you to think this week, do I nag, do I lecture? Does it work? If the answer is yes, I do. And no, it doesn't. Hey, guess what? <laughs> Let's stop it because <laughs> it makes no sense. <laughs> Good luck, have a go, see if you can do a week without nagging and lecturing.